Now, all discipline seems painful at the time and not joyful, but later it produces the fruit of peace and righteousness for those who are trained by it. The Epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 11. How happy are tried Christians afterwards. No calm more deep than that which succeeds a storm. Who has not rejoiced in clear shining after rain? Victorious banquets are for the well-exercised soldiers. After killing the lion, we eat the honey. After climbing the hill difficulty, we sit down in the woody glade to rest. After traversing the valley of humiliation, after fighting with Apollyon, the shining one appears with the healing branch from the tree of life. Our sorrows, like the passing keels of the vessels upon the sea, leave a silver line of holy light behind them afterwards. It is peace, sweet deep peace, which follows the horrible turmoil which once reigned in our tormented, guilty souls. See then the happy estate of a Christian. He has his best things last, and therefore in this world receives his worst things first. But even his worst things are afterwards seen as good things. Harsh ploughings yield a joyful harvest. And even now he grows rich by his losses, he rises by his falls, he lives by dying and becomes full by being emptied. If then his grievous afflictions yield him so much peaceable fruit in his life, what shall be the full vintage of joy afterwards in heaven? If his dark nights are as bright as the world's days, what shall his days be? And even if his starlight is more splendid than the sun, what must his sunlight be? If he might sing in a dungeon, how sweetly will he sing in heaven? If he can praise the Lord in the fire, how will he extol him before the eternal throne? If evil be good to him now, what will the overflowing goodness of God be to him then? O oh, blessed afterward, who would not be a Christian? Who would not bear the present cross for the crown which comes later? But now is work for patience, for the rest is not for today, nor the triumph but for the present, but to come. Wait, O oh soul, and let patience have her perfect work. Amen.